Coming up on today's episode. Doing it two-handed here, look at this. I take five minutes out of my busy schedule to wash my wife's car. And boy, did I pick a good day for it. Wow, this weather is utterly grim. My dad brings his Kia Soul round for a free wash. This is the bit we all came to see. And I talk rubber gloves, the one bucket method and all things car cleaning. So get ready for a mishmash of car washing content. And I can't wait to see what happens next. We start off on a beautiful summer's day where there wasn't a cloud in the sky. The sun was shining and it gave me a chance to wash some of my cloths. And it also gave me a chance to wash my wife's car too, which hadn't been done recently due to my workload getting out of control. And at the time I was finishing off filming a brand new TV show with Channel 5, so it had been neglected for a bit, but with a nice shady spot around the corner, it gave me an opportunity. However, the second I committed to washing the car, the great British weather chose to become one great British pain in the arse. And I had a feeling today was gonna to be one of those days. So today I thought I will try and do something a little bit different. I'm just gonna be doing a bit of a wash and talk. And oh, my mic's come off. <laughs> Got a few different products that I'm gonna be using today. That aircraft is annoying. Snake. Oh my God, this weather is so grim. My lens is gone cloudy. That, why is that? Ugh. So this is our Fiat 500. Granted, it's not in the best of Nick. And we got it at Christmas time because I wanted to get something nice for my wife and I didn't have enough money for that. So I ended up with the Fiat 500. And this car gets cleaned every couple of weeks, every two to three weeks, if I do get time. When I clean my own cars, it's completely different to cleaning everybody else's because when I'm doing everyone else's, I'm running around like a headless chicken and I never really get time to spend talking about all the products that I'm using. But today I can sort of mellow it out a bit. I can do my own car in my own time, in my own pace, and I can sort of go through everything I'm using and why I'm using this certain method. And it might just give you guys a few tips as well along the way. So first things first, I've got to get all my bits and bobs out. And I have got a lot of stuff in my van and I'm probably carrying too much. I don't need all this stuff. And I've been sort of umming and ahhing whether I should just get rid of it and stick with a car now because I don't really use a water tank either now. So I'm now getting to the point where I think, can I really be bothered? Anyone who knows me will know that I'm trying to cut down the detailing just to focus on YouTube. And I've got a few other little projects that I'm working on, which are probably going to change everything <laughs> really soon. But yeah, we've got some mega exciting things. This is so funny, right? I did not put my cat in here, but every time I clean my car on the weekend, I got my van out here. The cat, hang on if I show you, look, he is, he's a legend, that's what he is. All right, Leo, gorgeous boy. He just loves it, he loves it in the car. That's why I keep the windows sort of down in the day, just so he can get in. He just loves it, he loves my van. And even when I go to drive and put the van back, he's just like, yeah, no worries, he just comes with me. He's a cool cat. So excuse the mess, uh, today I'm gonna be using Neil Fisk P180 and so many people are asking me what do I prefer out of this and the Arva and I will be honest with you I mean I am doing a video sort of comparing both of them but at the minute this is the one this is the one that I'm definitely like favoring at the minute I mean I have had a few issues with the Arva last week did have the fuses going which was a bit of a nightmare but now oh dear I'm dicing with death I've got this, which is a chunky extension lead. It's a 2.5 mil. So I've got that from Clean Store. And basically what that's now doing is stopping my Arva from blowing fuses. Uh, but nevertheless, I wanna use my Nilfist today because I've got this. I've got my SGS 28 stubby gun, my favorite gun of all times. And mainly because I've got this as well, which is a quick release. I can't really do it with one hand, but it's brilliant, honestly, when you're trying to snow foam and especially when you're using foam on the wheels as well and you just want to quickly disconnect and connect and then give the wheels a good clean again, it's, it just makes your life so much easier. But anyway, here is the car and I actually did it last weekend. I used a load of Infinity Wax products on it, which are bloody good by the way. I think they're really good. And yeah, as you can see, these wheels are a bit naffed up, but it doesn't matter, the inside, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, I've got to be honest with you. But we've got kids who jump around in it, so it stinks of farts. I did one in here like 20 minutes ago. But yeah, it's a bit of a mess, mainly with all my stuff though. 
So much to the disgust of many people, I'm going to be using just the one bucket method today and that's because that's my preferred method when I'm cleaning my own car. When you take a look at this Fiat 500, you'll see it's covered in swells and scratches and we bought this last December and I still haven't had time to give it a proper machine polish and it's not going to be done this year either. For me, I just want to make my car look good so I'm satisfied with the way it looks. I don't care about all those little scratches and I think this is one of the biggest problems that's turning detailing and especially on the communities as well into a toxic place because everybody thinks that you have to have that crazy level of perfection and even if you were to get the car looking 99% perfect, you might see the odd little mark and you're going to find someone who's going to nitpick and go, oh well I could have done that better, why didn't you use that? And this is what you're seeing on social media. So today, I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm using the one bucket method, but I'm going to keep that mitt probably cleaner than if you use the two bucket method. So I'm going to be using my stubby gun today. We're just going to blast it off after every single time that we've used it. That's going to get off the majority of the dirt. I haven't got a problem with it and I don't think everybody else should have a problem with it. When you're doing your own car, you can make exceptions because not everybody's going to have a Ferrari or a Bugatti Veyron. That's not in the real world. If you're doing someone else's car and they're paying you big money for it, I totally get it. But when you're doing your own, if you don't want to use two buckets, don't use two buckets and don't be ashamed to admit it either. So what I'm doing, because this car is so small, I'm doing two wheels at a time. So you can get away with it. And especially on weather like this, when you're doing it in a direct sunlight, Sometimes it's just better to do one wheel at a time, but today, like I said, I'm quite lucky. We've got amazing temperatures. This is the perfect temperature to do your car. Nice and cool. Granted, there's a little bit of rain, but apart from that, it's almost perfect. Another thing people always ask me in the comments section is where do I get these Epic gloves from? And I'll be honest with you, I get them from a hand car wash. We got a local one in Surrey where they supply to all the drive through car washes. Now I know people are against the chemicals and that's fair enough, they got valid points. But when it comes to supplies and parts, you can't go wrong. I mean, I think I get about 10 of these for 10, 12 quid, something like that. And you can stick your hand right in the bucket without getting all the water in. So although I've got my thin black gloves underneath, they're good for doing the interior. But if you stick your hand in the bucket, you're just gonna have a glove filled with water. So that's why I go for these. I will put links in a description where I get them all from anyway, but I know it's just a regular question that people always ask me. So these wheels are an absolute doddle to clean. Because I do them regularly, they never really get that dirty. Oh, look at that, it just takes care of the wheels in seconds. Absolutely no stress. So for small wheels like this, I'm using my skinny wheel willies. And I've had every single wheel willie now for about a year. The only one that started to really go is the medium one, and I'll show you in a minute what's happened to it. Because I've been hammering them every single day for the past year that I've been out. Like, I use them every single time. And sometimes you just force it in there and you shouldn't do it. It's my own fault. Like, I've been... I've been quite uh, aggressive with them. But like the skinny ones, really good. And I thought they would snap. And there's a lot of flexibility in them. But no, they're still going strong. So for wheels like this, like I can get around the whole thing. They're just stunning. And they just keep going and going and going. And this is the thing with wheel brushes and that, because you don't get one that's just going to last forever. Like they're always going to have their moments when they are eventually going to break. So like this one. I got from Valet Pro last summer. I've only been using it now for about six weeks and it's doing really well. I mean, it's a solid brush, but things have started to go on it already. So I had like a rubber seal around there, which is just worn away and just fell off when I was brushing a wheel. Uh, that was quite annoying. So I've stopped using it on my nice cars now and I'm only gonna use it on my old ones that I do cars for. So. Um, yeah, it's a shame because that was a pretty good brush. So nine times out of 10, you're gonna see me using wheel willies, not because I'm trying to promote them, but because I just love them. And I'm only gonna back products that I believe in. And that's why I still believe to this day, these are the best wheel brushes that you can currently buy on the market. And until I see something better, these are all I'm gonna use.
oh actually while i got you here while we're talking about wheel cleaning bits i've got this which is a brand new wheel mitt now this one's from yum as well that is proper mega it's similar fibers to what the queen's guards have on their hats i'm doing it two-handed here look at this i'm manning up This weather is a right pee taker. I can't believe it. Keep going. More on that later on. So the British weather has its moments, but it's not all bad. This is an absolute joke. I swear, five minutes ago, the sun was out, everything was looking good. Oh crap, I've left the door open on that Jeep. Ah, oh, bollocks, I can see the lights on in there. Oh, I don't want to ruin his car, but I don't want to get wet. What do I do? What do I do? Actually, it's dreadful, but occasionally that big ball of gas in space does make an appearance and we get some pretty nice days and I get to work on so many fantastic cars. But one thing I have learnt over the last 15 years is nothing ever goes to plan. For example... What the bloody hell is happening with this Range Rover? does whatever the hell it wants this car man it's so hot it is so freaking hot i'm struggling this car was literally like burning dry and there's dust everywhere and temperatures like this is ridiculous i need to go home and have an ice cream so last year my dad finally got the car of his dreams okay i never said it was a good dream but nevertheless he bought a kia soul and normally when dad says, can I come over to see you and the family? He basically means, can you clean my car because I can't be bothered? So I had a spare hour to give it a quick clean up and it gave me chance to show him some of my brand new products that I've been working on, including the brand new Zesty Lemon Shampoo. But there is also something else that's extra special. So I will save that till a bit later on in the video. So job number one was to use a decent wheel cleaner and this one is called Incinerate by Infinity Wax. And it's a powerful alkaline wheel cleaner and what makes this tiny bottle so special is you can dilute it down 25 to one depending on how bad the wheels are. So a little will go a long way and it works brilliantly on the tires too. For the driver's side of the car I wanted to show my dad an alternative way of cleaning the wheels. So what I did here was spray them first, let them dwell and then layered them up with a bit of epic snow foam. And the reason I did it this way is because it gives the product extra time to dwell without drying out, making it more effective so for me this is my preferred method. But honestly it does help having a proper quick release. And because my wife sent me a half an hour warning for dinner, I couldn't hang about so I didn't have time to do all the barrels. Plus, there was no way I was ever going to miss out on a curry of poppadoms. There's all these companies that offer all these bug cleaners. You don't need... My son's shouting. I can hear him. I bet that's come on the mic. That's my right. grandson. You don't need bug cleaners. You just need a good citrus pre-wash. And that's what we've got here. So this pre-wash is a must-have, especially during the summer months with all these bugs. And although a citrus pre-wash can remove all the bugs, what they can't do is remove certain splats that have completely etched into the paintwork. So it's good that you can understand the difference between the two. And I will be covering a topic on this very soon. Just like that, and you've got a foam cannon ready to go. Right, so I better blast it. As usual, me being me, I didn't measure out the snow foam. As I previously mentioned, my favourite dinner was up for grabs, so faffing about with the precise foam measurements just wasn't happening. And anyway, thick foam makes great content for social media, and I was going to use every last drop. And what I love about this epic snow foam is the cleaning power from it. Plus, so many snow foams these days appear to do naff all, and they make you question whether you really need it in the first place. But this one's different, this one pulls off so much more and no, it's not pH neutral, which for some people may be a deal breaker, but when you're shifting through loads of cars per day and per week, you need something that's gonna get the job done. 
and this is the best option. So I will be filming with Infinity Wax very soon because we're going to explain in detail to you guys why we're teaming up with this new business venture. But long story short, my aim is to change the industry for the better. And I wanted to make products that make everybody's life easier. And there's so many ones out there that are reviewed and tested and they're all in control conditions. And you never get to see what they're really like outside in the real world. This is the bit we all came to see. Lemon zest shampoo. That was important. Dad, it's your car, you can do it however you want. Right. What do you reckon of the shampoo? I love it. I've got, I've got to be done in a minute. Well, I really didn't think this video through. I just thought I'd just roll the camera and this shampoo is so good. You're going so quick. Yeah, All right, I, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a wriggle on. And then we're gonna put the magic product on. That's what all I want to do. I want to see what that's like. I know I knew this was gonna be amazing anyway. This brand new zesty lemon shampoo was the final version that we had before production. And I have been using this formula throughout the week in the hottest temperatures and it's been performing perfectly every single time. And this one will be hitting the UK market within the next two to three weeks and I truly believe that you will love this shampoo as it gives plenty of suds, plenty of lubrication and it smells absolutely gorgeous. With the rinsing all taken care of we can now give it a dry and instead of using a quick detailer as a drying aid we're just going to be using a few waffle towels and a twisted loop towel. Wow, Dad, this car, what the hell? This Look how scratched this car is. I know. No way. This is effed, isn't it? Look at it. What's all that? That's always been on there. Really? Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay. It wasn't me then. No, 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 no. No, that's been on there for some time. Well, that's a relief. I'd be moved. Yeah, look at it down here. I've hit hit some hedges. Been through the old scratch and shine this one. So this month we've been very busy with the clients getting more frequent thanks to the nicer weather and I've had a good month doing the product testing as well with the new brand. And it seems like the fuel price hikes have now become the norm so life tends to be getting back to normal for now. However I had to make even more price increases which I didn't want to do but thankfully I haven't seen any drops in clients in fact it started to go the other way round. So there is still hope out there, as long as you target the right customers, you should be able to survive this tough time. Back to the Fiat 500 and it's time to break out the snow foam. And it was at this point where I was getting so wet, I was thinking, should I just stop altogether? So in the end, I decided to give it a quick wash down, but I was totally gutted with the weather because it just got worse. And when you're filming and cleaning at the same time, you need all the planets to perfectly align if you want to get a good video. And it was just one of those days, so I couldn't dry the car with my towels. And whilst we're on the subject of towels, I just thought I'd use this opportunity to show you how I organise mine. So I've had a really good sort out today. I've done every single towel, everything's been washed. So I've got my door shut towels, I've got my rough towels, my glass towels at the top ones up there. I've got my fresh Kirkland ones, my cheap and cheerfuls. All my fluffy cloths are in there, that's all them together. I've got my waffle towels, my twisted loop towels, everything else cloths, but there's a few more things. I've got my pads up there, but this is a really cool thing. And if you've got a van, I urge you to get some of these cables immediately because when you've got nice days like this, if you do get wet towels, you can use these, excuse the rust, you can use these as like washing lines. But yeah, that's what you can do. So if you get some pegs, drive along with the windows down a bit and the air's gonna blow through and it's gonna dry them out. Job done. So I've got the brand new spray sealant here. What we're gonna do is spray it onto one cloth and we're gonna spread it over the car. And we're only gonna do a few sections at a time and we're gonna leave it for about 30 seconds. So we've got perfect conditions here. We've got a black car covered in scratches and I can't wait to see what happens next. Here we go. All right, so a few squirts. Oh, holy moly. That I can already feel that. <laughs> that looks so good. I'm just going to try something here, like it's a ceramic coating. I'm just going to see what happens. I'm going to do a few sections at a time. So, what I've done is, what I've, what I've done 
is I sprayed it onto an applicator pad and I'm doing like a square at a time. So just think 30 centimeter squares, crisscross it. And then when you're ready, once it starts to flash a bit, we can then wipe it off. As you can see. So we're gonna take towel number one. I don't know what you're gonna be able to pick up on that camera, but that is so e oh my word, that is so easy to apply. Look at it. Beautiful, not even a mark. I can see this going down very well. Oh my word, look at that. I bet you're well happy, Dad. This fly ain't, this fly's just been poisoned. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mate. Why do you land on the car? I hate that, the flies like land on it, then they like get high and then that's it, they're dead. <laughs> it's so sad. Has this car lived in a hand car wash? Like seriously, Dad, this is covered. It wasn't good when I picked it up. I can say that again. This needs a Dave special. Oh my God, that's not even smeared. At least you can let me know tomorrow how it looks. This is the perfect temperature, by the way. And it doesn't even matter if you go over any drips. Like I've just gone over a drip here. It's not gonna interfere with any of the bonding. It just works. It does exactly what you want it to do. This has been one heck of a journey. And what started out 15 years ago on a pedal bike with a watering can has now become bigger than anything else I thought it could be. To even think just a few years ago I'll be within touching distance of this dream is madness. And I don't even think I'll be here if it wasn't for the wonderful people who watch these videos. But it's not just them, I've made some great friends along the way. But all I can say now is get ready because Epic Automotive is about to launch. Mm -hmm.